It's week 14 of the National Football League, and our focus is on Romeo Dobbs. He should be one of his quarterback's best friends this week. It's the Packers and the Lions on Thursday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to downtown Detroit and Ford Field, the home of the Lions. We thank you for having us in. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, three months in the books. Partner, now it's December. It's the best month of the NFL season because the games get more important as the weather gets a little bit cold. And this is where you find out who the real teams are and who the pretenders are. Do you find yourself not only in the playoff conversation, but can you now play good enough ball down the stretch to not only be in the conversation, but actually find yourself in the postseason? All right, we're just about set for football. The crowd is definitely ready. So are we. Off we go on EA Sports. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone. So they're going to blow it dead. And they'll bring the ball out to start at the 40-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. From the gun, it's Duff. Oh, and they come after him right away, and definitely goes on the first play of the game. This is a defensive coordinator just testing the waters. How is your protection plan? Do you have a plan for any linebacker or second-level pressures? Well, I think we got the answer on this one because they had no answer for it, and you can bet he's going to continue to dial those up. Really just been a combination of errors here on this drive. I mean, the sack on first down put him in a bad spot. Then the incompletion there trying to gain it back on second. And now they find themselves in a critical third down here. Or they're facing a three and out. Not the sharpest of starts on offense here in early third and long. Out of the shotgun. It's gone. Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. A big loss on the play. Brings up fourth down. So, on fourth down, the Lions send out Jack Fox to punt. Out to return this for the Packers, it's Keyshawn Nixon. This returnable from inside is on 40. And it's a decent return. Gets some of that yardage back before he's forced out of bounds. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season quarterback, but Greg, just his second as a starter, waited his turn and had a really good first year as a starter. Here we have a guy, Mike, just really coming off a tremendous outing last week. It seemed like everything was working for him in that win. The early rhythm he was able to establish, he rode that to the final whistle. He had an answer for everything the defense threw at him. And if he continues to stay one step ahead and continues to protect the ball at this rate, he's going to be a hard group to beat. 17 yards, the game there. First down, Packers. This is how you drop your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. First and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. It doesn't matter the level of football, Mike. If they can't stop it, keep running it until they can. And I think that's what we're seeing here on this drive. Back-to-back -back explosive gains on the ground. I would imagine at some point the defense gives it a different look. They'll run the toss to Jacobs. And he'll be taken down. Let's give some love to the big guys up front here, Mike. The offensive line is looking good here early to start the game. A couple nice big explosive runs. Expect them to continue to lean on the big guys up front as the rest of this game unfolds. Here's Jacobs. And he's into the end zone. 
Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. Anders Carlson now for the PAT. He's got it. And the Packers will take a 7-0 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. The return starts from the five. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Now the return man is a bit slow getting up after that kick. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. Rashawn Gary, former Michigan Wolverine, in there to take him down. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. The motion man is Raymond. On second down, gone. Open man, it's Jamison Williams. After that first down sack, I think we both kind of looked at each other and said, all right, well, there goes this drive. But a really nice job there in the passing game on second down. That big chunk brings them from second and long to now at least third and manageable. The blitz gets there, and he lost the football. And this is taken in by the defense. In the pocket, looking to throw the ball, but the defense was looking right at the ball. They knock it away and come up with the turnover. Mike, we see so often a quarterback is so focused, keeping his eyes down the field, looking for one of his receivers to work himself free, that they lose track of where the defenders are. And I think that's exactly what happened here. The defender closed on him quicker than he might have thought, knocks the ball loose creating the takeaway. Ready up. Here's first and ten. Set, ready, set. They'll run with Jacobs. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight, setting up second and short. Once again, it's Jacobs. Yeah. And he's going to take this all the way home. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. That his second touchdown tonight. Give him a second touchdown on this one. What an opening quarter, Greg. Two rushing touchdowns in the first. Well, Mike, we kind of had a feeling this might be the case. They told us all week how important it was to get this guy involved early and often. And boy, have they ever. He has made his presence felt here early in this one. Carlson's kick is good. And the Packers will extend their first quarter lead. It's now 14 to nothing. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This one taken at the 7. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Jameer Gibbs and the Detroit offense set to take over again. And they've used him quite a bit in the passing game. Take a look at the NFL leaders in receiving yards for running backs, and he's right there among the best in the league. Now the first carry for the Alabama speedster, Jameer Gibbs. And this will be a Lions first down. The attack was made at about the 38-yard line. 
The ability to be effective on first down, Mike, it just makes everything else easier. In the event you do have to face a third down down the road, they're usually a lot more manageable situations, a lot easier to convert. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Off the play fake, here's Goff. This one complete to Amon Ra St. Brown. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. It's so early in the game, you have to be careful now as coaches and players that you don't find yourself trailing early and get out of your game plan. There is so much time left. Stick to what you've worked on all week. There's plenty of time to chip away and see if you can make this thing close come the fourth quarter. From the 35, it's first and 10. Here's Goff. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. One quarter in the books here on a Thursday night. It's the Packers on top. And we are back to the Motor City in a moment. Throwing on second down. Goff. Right side. It's the port of the tight end. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Here's Goff. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. And the big guys up front in the offensive line just continue to not be on the same page. And we've seen it time and time again here today. This pass rush remains one step ahead of them. And it's the quarterback who continues to pay the price. Here's Jack Fox now. He's on for the second time. He'll try to get something inside the tent. So that one's going to land out of bounds, and the official's going to mark it right at the 20-yard line. Josh Jacobs and the Packers offense heading back onto the field. And he's been a tough man to stop in this first half, putting up some big numbers already. And remember, we haven't even reached halftime yet. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Here we go. That is Musgrave, the man in motion. Love to throw on first and ten. That's caught downfield. Dobbs. Still on his feet. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the ten. It is going to be first and goal. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So after the big play to start, now we have first and goal. It's the tight end craft in motion. Here's a run. That's a nice pickup, bringing it down to the three. Here now, second down and goal. One more time, it's Jacobs. And he's into the end zone yet again. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. What a half he is putting together. That's his third touchdown already. Carlson now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Packers will stake themselves to a 21 to nothing lead.
Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This taken at the five. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. Here's the Detroit offense now, headed back onto the field. They find themselves down three touchdowns here, needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. On the ground to start, they give it to Gibbs. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yardage. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss. They'll go play action with Goff. He's going to keep it himself. Well, that helps. It's going to be a much more manageable third down, getting some good yardage on that second down play. A gain of 10 makes it third and three. Goff. And that is incomplete. And after that last incompletion, it's really the story of the game. This offense has had a really hard time sustaining drives that can lead to points. You can sense the frustration, not only on the sideline, but really in the entire stadium. They've got to get something going, especially early in these drives, so they can find themselves in scoring position and come away with some points. And how about that? Nice return there, picking his way up past the 35-yard line. The Packers offense running back Josh Jacobs heading back on the field. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. First and 10 now from the 36. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Yeah, give an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss. But not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss. But it still stopped for no gain. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Now love. This one up top for Dobbs. And he's going to be brought down inside the 15. They really showed off their connection on that pitch and catch, Mike, and just really good ball placement and really good separation downfield. And when those two things align, it's just really challenging for a defender to stay with them and take that play away. Down at the 12. It's first and 10. Throwing is love. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Christian Watson, the intended receiver. And it'll lead to a second down. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways field goals that's what you're trying to do and to the goal line and in Romeo Dobbs touchdown Green Bay that touchdown number 11 on the year this defense continuing to give up points Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. 
This returnable from the four. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin then. The Lions offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their have to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. To throw is gone. That'll be caught. It's Jameer Gibbs. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. A second down throw for Goff. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. Here's third and seven. Throwing Goff. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If this quarterback's offensive line had as much fight as he does, I don't think they'd be in this situation to begin with. I mean, it's not even halftime here, Mike, and they've already given up six sacks. At this rate, I'm not sure they're confident their quarterback's going to make it out of this game in one piece. Here's the punter now, as he'll hit this from just outside of his own goal line. To return, it's Nixon. And it's a good, solid return as he takes it back up near midfield. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Love. He's going to go deep, looking for Reed. And he will go all the way. Jaden Reed. Touchdown, Packers. That is just a complete disaster. I mean, we're in the final seconds of the first half, Mike, and you give up a huge explosive play that results in a touchdown. No matter what you've done all half, it completely changes the game. Now Carlson to add the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Packers stretch out this lead even more. It is now 35 to nothing. Three seconds all that remain in this first half as that one's away. A return now from the four. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we've reached halftime here on our Thursday Nighter to start the new NFL week. As we'll get you down to Orlando now, that's where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Greg in just a moment. But first, let's give everybody a look at what's coming up later this weekend around the NFL. We'll start in the early window and begin up in Minneapolis, a tough one for the homestanding Vikings as they'll be forced to reckon with the Atlanta Falcons. Good games in the late afternoon as well, one being out in Santa Clara, where it'll be the 49ers taking on the Chicago Bears. Finally on Monday Night Football, a good one, Bengals and Cowboys from AT&T Stadium. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He was running with a purpose as he found the end zone three times in that first half. And that opposing defense had better come up with a scheme for slowing him down. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half.
because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not already. All right, Coach. Thank you. Two very different halftime speeches by these head coaches. That's for sure. As we get set for half number two. Now return coming from the seven. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Packers offense and their running back set to go once more. And as we go through the highlights, no shortage of touchdowns today. Three trips to the end zone in this one. The combination, the power, the speed, everything on display, and the defense has seen it all. Let's go. Cut, cut. They'll start on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Here's Jacobs. And he'll take this up, working towards the first down mark. He gets five, but is just a little short of the first down. Don't need much. It is third and inches. He'll try to run it here with Jacobs. And he will have a Packers first down. He has it by plenty. They keep the drive alive here on third and inches. And the big night continues. That last run gives him yardage to put him over 100 for the game. They'll come up here first and 10. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the Lions. Here's a second and six. Here we go. They'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. And he will work this down inside the 40. That's going to be good enough to move the chains. First down. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. From the gun, it's Love. Throw left side, but that's going to be incomplete. Luke Musgrave, the tight end, was the intended target there. And that will lead to a second down. Come on, set. Set. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He'll take a shot here, back of the end zone. That is hot. What a throw. Romeo Dobbs. Touchdown, Green Bay. That his second touchdown of the game. Numbers 11 and 12 on the season. So they take the shot downfield, and it is caught in the end zone for a touchdown. What a big play that is, Greg. Absolutely, Mike. And the key to a play like this is when the ball travels this far in the air, they teach you, don't look back, look up, because that's where the ball will be. And in this case, he was able to secure it and come away with a big touchdown. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This is fielded inside the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to get back at it. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage. 
And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. A nine-yard loss. It's now second and 19 at the 17-yard line. Goff gives it to Gibbs. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground, Mike. There was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. From the gun, on third down, it's gone. Now problems. He loses the football near his own goal line. And he rumbles his way into the end zone. The fumble recovery and the great return for the touchdown. And they will score again. This time, it's the defense. And, Greg, this just adds to what has been a one-sided affair from the start. Yeah, and on a day where it just seems like nothing has gone their way, this fumble return for a touchdown kind of just adds injury to insult. There's, there's days, Mike, where you just don't have your best and the other team has the upper hand, and I think it's pretty clear today is one of those days. Carlson able to knock through the extra point, and the Packers continue to bring the hammer down. It is now 49 to nothing. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Very good kickoff, returnable from the four. Across the 20, they'll mark them down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. So Jared Goff and the Lions offense getting set for this next drive. And as we take you back through the highlights, there aren't many of them from a quarterbacking perspective. He's been unable to sustain a lot in any of these drives and does not have a touchdown pass to this point. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Now Goff. This one finds Peoples-Jones. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On target to Laporta. And he's going to be out of bounds. It's just beyond the line of scrimmage. That's all they needed to pick up the first down. And the Lions, first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Williams in motion. On first and 10, here's Goff. That one knocked away and incomplete. Amon Ross St. Brown, the receiver he was trying to target. And it'll be second down. On the ground, this is Gibbs. And he'll wind his way to about the 38-yard line. Andrew and Cooper, the rookie, is there on the tackle. What can they do here on third down and seven? Goff to throw. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. Any lingering chance of a comeback just continues to slip away with each wasted drive. They just can't get anything going. And at some point, I think they might start pulling their starters here because a couple more hits on their quarterback, this could get even worse. The Lions will punt this ball away as he'll come on to kick for the fifth time here tonight. This one fielded out beyond the 25. And how about that? Nice return there, picking his way up past the 35-yard line. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Ready. The man in motion is Watson. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. 
And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So we are through three. We'll have more Thursday Night Football after this. Look him up on a second down and eight. Now give to Jacobs. He'll run right. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. Love. He's got a man. It's Dobbs. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball, and you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. Set to go now on first and ten. Here we go. Here we go. It's the tight end craft in motion. Ready? On the ground. It's Jacobs. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Whoa! And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. On first and ten, here's Love. That is going to be Hall in. He's got it. Romeo Dobbs. Touchdown, Packers. His big game continues. His third touchdown of this one. Numbers 11, 12, and 13 on the year. Carlson now for the extra point. And he missed it. It's no good. One of the few things that's gone wrong so far. So they're unable to add one more point onto this big lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. A safe kick taken at the five. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Lions offense getting set to get back to work. Things not looking good. But see if we can get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. From the gun, it's gone. He's got his man, Peoples Jones. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Throwing here is Goff. Here's a screen set up for Gibbs. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. 
One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design, sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback, getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. They'll try again here, second and 10. Back to the air, it's Goff. Rush comes, they're setting up the screen. Well, he's brought down, that pass is gonna pick up four and bring up third down. Out of the shotgun, it's Goff. Ah, the ball's out, and the defense has it. How about the defense getting to the quarterback, getting access to the ball, knocking it free, and coming up with the recovery? I'd like to see the quarterback just be a little more secure with the ball, Mike. You can see he's just a little loose, especially when you're operating from the pocket. But give credit to the defender. Nice job attacking the ball, knocking it loose and recovering it. And that is a big takeaway here by this defense. Jordan Love and the rest of the Packer offense ready for their next possession. And he's been as good as advertised. Take you through some of the highlights. Four touchdown passes on point with his receivers right throughout and continuing to master running and executing this offense. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Let's go now. Hunt, hunt. A run up the middle with Jacobs. Finding space at the 15. He's going to be marked down at the 12 yard line. 17 yards on that play. Good for a Green Bay first down. So, two minutes left to play in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Set ready. Ready. Now, Jacobs. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. A huge advantage to red zone offense is the ability to run the ball. In this case, I thought he was going to score. He takes it all the way down inside the two, sets up first and goal. Two yards from six points. It is first down and goal. Here's Jacobs. And he will score again. Josh Jacobs, touchdown Green Bay. What a night he's having. That's four touchdowns in this game alone. We might need a calculator before this one is done. It has been one-sided, and the route rolls on, Greg. Absolutely, Mike, and they just keep piling on the points. I mean, this offensive play caller, he's saying it's never enough. I'm going to try to score with every possession, and we've seen him do that all game long. Makes the score after 62. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. He fields it at the 8, and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll see if they can put something together here. Beginning with first and ten. To throw is Goff. He'll try to hit him with a screen. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Just a little slow developing on that screen play there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and... And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. A loss of 13 yards brings up third down. Third and long. Here's Goff. He'll send it downfield for Laporta. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. And how about that? Third and a mile. 
and they convert and pick up a first down. Here we go. One final play. And the final throw of the game winds up incomplete. And that will do it. This one comes to an end. So it's a win here for the visiting Packers. Their perfect season continues here into the month of December as they continue to be the number one team in all of football. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from downtown Detroit.